Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to set the correct date and time in the Android TV emulator. So many times we have seen that in the emulator, especially the Android TV emulator, the date and time goes a bit odd. So date and time app, and I'll leave rest of things as it is. Probably I'll just use some other API version and click finish for and wait for the environment to load. So many times we have seen that the, in the emulator, the date time time goes a bit uh, off from the actual date and time and that's basically uh, because when you switch uh, close this android studio without shutting down the emulator properly it's somehow not able to take it up or otherwise it loses the access to network those are the uh, main reasons so we'll see in this uh, video how we'll fix this so let the environment load up and we'll resume the environment is loaded up now we will start the emulator in parallel on the right hand side so let it start in the meantime i'll also do one thing i'll we'll use probably this text view to load our current date and time so we'll just make it a little bigger top give it some id for the text view and i'll increase the size also of the text in this from 14 to probably say for them 24 sp that's fine and Okay, so emulator is coming up and yeah, emulator came up. So let me first take, uh, show you in the emulator. So in the emulator, if you go to the settings part, say for example, settings and so by default right now you are, can see it's 9.45 or 49 a.m. However, this time is not accurate. So if I show you from the clock, which is my Windows operating system, the current time is 9.52, so it's divided by 3 minutes. However, here it's just a deviation of 3 minutes, but sometimes you may see more deviation and sometimes it, the emulator time may not at all increase also. So how to fix this? So let me first show you from app how we can capture this current date and time. So I'll go back to the app code. I'll probably minimize this part. And here, okay, I'll minimize all of this. And yeah, in the emulator, in this attributes, what I'll do is I'll use text view course and I'll use a button probably uh, which will use to refresh our date and time refresh date and time perfect I'll give some constraints to this button and then I'll go to the Java code very quickly and over here what I'll do is I'll public white button date and time I'll define this button uh, method and then in this on click attribute of this particular button, I'll associate it with that particular method. So that's all. And also for the text view, I'll create a local class variable text view, which will hold on to that particular text view widget. Text view, find you by id r dot id dot text view. Perfect. Now, once we have it, so what we'll do is in the text view, we'll print the text the current date and time so calendar dot get instance dot get time and then probably you can change to string format so that's all let me rerun it in the app in the emulator <coughs> and see if we can display the date and time or not so perfect so it has come so if you can see even over here the time it's showing is 951 right now which is and but the actual time is 954 so it's a bit debated. Of course, this time it's taking from system time only. So if you go to the system back here, let me make it bigger. So it's taking from here. So how to uh, set it correctly? Make it correct. There are few things which you should do. One is go to the settings and make sure the Wi-Fi, the network is connected. So if you go to the network part, make sure this is on. And uh, yeah, so this is one step. And then you can go to your systems date and time settings. And make sure this is set to use network provided time so this will automatically set it but still we have done both but still if you come back most likely and if i go to the system it is still showing 952 which is around three minutes deviation from 955 so there are two options now you can do either you can restart or you can do a cold uh, cold boot so i'll just show how to do the cold booting so you go here and uh, here this cold boot option will get enabled once you switch it off so that's one option. Second option is you restart. So how you can restart? Press this power button. 
uh, and then it will shut down and then you have to okay so it may take a while to shut down and once you shut down then you go to the device manager and then re-trigger again so cold boot is the only the only difference is in cold boot it will reset the settings however if you do it a uh, simple run device it will retain some of your earlier settings so i'm starting the emulator and we'll see so right now the time on my clock is 9.56 and let's see what is the time it will show on the emulator TV once it comes up. So it is still loading and the time is still 9.56. Probably it may become 9.57 also by the time it comes up but yeah, let's see. Okay, so emulator is loading. I'll make it bigger. Okay, time in Right now, the current time is 9.57, so it takes almost a minute to load the environment, continue using basic TV. And if I go to this setting, now you can see it's 9.57. This is accurate. And even if you, once I run this app, uh, I'll see a more accurate. Yeah, we can see even it's increasing 9.57. 36, 37, 38, yeah, 40. So it's increasing. Every second it's increasing, of course. You can refresh it and it will keep increasing. So that's all. So uh, if there's any deviation, you should do two things uh, in short. One is like make sure your TV is connected to the network and uh, it's the system date is set to automatically update from network. And apart from that, you should either do restart or cold boot. So that should solve the problem. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.